At the dawn of time, the Earth was positively brimming with weird and wonderful creatures, from dangerous dinosaurs to strange amoeba. Yep, if you thought the animal kingdom in the modern age was full of awesome animals, you haven't seen anything yet. The critters that roam the planet today pale in comparison to the crazy creatures of the past, from a giant shark with a chainsaw for a mouth to a six-foot millipede at the top of the food chain, these are the 15 nightmarish animals you'll be glad are extinct. This animal is something that is really adapted like a crocodile. Entelodon. First up, we have the frankly terrifying Entelodon also known as the Hell Pig. Yep, this prehistoric swine would have weighed around 2,000 pounds and it possessed fangs the size of a human arm. These are no farmyard animals. In fact, they were built more like predatory fighting machines with long jaws like a crocodile's snout and a tough bony face that's used to smash into its opponent. This cloven hoofed Hell Pig was a fearsome animal that could have struck fear into the hearts of any critter that crossed its path. Its scientific name, Deodon, even translates from Greek to hostile or dreadful. Luckily for us, the Entelodont became extinct about 16 million years ago after a 30 million year reign on Earth during the Eocene Epoch. Researchers have discovered fossils from this ancient beast all over South Dakota and Wyoming, and they believe that the hell pig is not related to the modern day hog at all, but they're actually evolutionarily closer to hippos or whales. We're just glad that they got wiped out. Can you imagine running into a hell pig and their gigantic fangs in real life? No, thank you. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Titanoboa. Can you imagine a snake the size of a school bus and as heavy as an elephant? Well, this supersized serpent actually existed on Earth over 65 million years ago. Yep, the Titanoboa serajanensis was a real beast, tipping the scales at 1.25 tons and measuring a jaw-dropping 45 feet long. Forget giant anacondas, this thing was twice the size and twice as scary. Jason Heed, a paleontologist at the University of Toronto, even described Titanoboa saying, the snake's body was so wide that if it were moving down the hall and decided to come into my office to eat me, it would literally have to squeeze through the door. Yikes, it's the largest snake ever existing on Earth and would have lived during the Paleocene era following the extinction of dinosaurs like the T-Rex. What a monster. <laughs> Mega Piranha. What's more ferocious than a piranha? A mega piranha, of course. That's right, this prehistoric creature was like the modern day piranha's tough big brother. It would have weighed up to 10 times the size of the piranhas that live in the Amazon today, averaging in at around 20 to 30 pounds and measuring nearly 30 inches in length. This freaky fish existed around 10 million years ago during the Miocene era, and thankfully they're now extinct. With a bite force of over 1,000 pounds per square inch, you really wouldn't want to be swimming next to one of these slippery beasts. Pound for pound, these mega piranhas could bite with a force of up to 50 times its own weight, thanks to their huge jaw muscles that took up nearly their whole face. Their brutal bite was even stronger than a hyena or a gorilla today, and wow, they kind of make regular piranhas look like goldfish. Spinosaurus. This real-life river monster would have been one of the first ever dinosaurs to make the transition from walking on land to swimming underwater. We're talking about none other than the Spinosaurus. This ginormous dinosaur floated down North Africa's rivers nearly 100 million years ago and measured a whopping 50 feet in length, munching mainly on fish, giant squids and sharks. This unique and highly specialized dinosaur would have been a fearsome predator in the water, but probably not anywhere near as ferocious on land. With short back legs with webbed feet, Spinosaurus would not have been very speedy on land. Its name translates to spine lizard, thanks to the huge spiny sail on its back that would have poked out of the waters much like a shark's fin. Well, at least you can spot this carnivorous beast coming. <laughs> Terror Bird Yep, this ancient creature was as terrifying as it sounds. They didn't call it the Terror Bird for nothing. 
living on Earth about 12 million years ago, during the Middle Miocene period, this absolutely gigantic bird weighed as much as a bear and was an astounding 8 feet tall. With huge sharp talons, a daggered beak, and clawed wings, this flying monster really was the ultimate predator. Oh, and did we mention that it could run a whopping 35 miles per hour? This really is what nightmares are made of. This carnivorous killing machine lived in what is now South America and would have ruled the roost in prehistoric times. In fact, if it hadn't gone extinct, it probably would rule the roost right now. Even its legs were powerful enough to crack a skull, and experts say they would have slain their prey by lifting them up into the air before smashing them back down onto the ground and stabbing them with their razor-sharp beaks. Did we mention that we're extremely glad the terror bird doesn't exist anymore? This big bad bird couldn't fly, but at this point, we're not sure that even matters. Who needs to fly when you can terrorize everything in your path right here on the ground? <laughs> Sarcosicus. Whoa, just look at this thing. The Sarcosicus Imperator was the biggest freshwater crocodile of all time, growing to epic lengths of over 40 feet and weighing a whopping 17,500 pounds. Whoa. These scaly beasts just kept on growing and growing throughout their lives, leading to torsos of epic proportions, unlike the modern croc who usually reaches full size after about 10 years. The National Geographic Channel even nicknamed this ancient creature the Super Croc and dedicated a whole documentary to the Sarcosicus. This prehistoric dinosaur lived 110 million years ago in lush wetlands where the dry Sahara Desert now lies. Who knew that the crocodile used to be even bigger and even more terrifying than it already is? We hate to say it, but we're kinda glad this monster went extinct. Modern crocs are scary enough as is. Megalodon This gigantic megalodon was a prehistoric shark that ruled the seven seas over three million years ago. Measuring in at roughly 60 feet long and tipping the scales at 60 tons, this mind-blowing massive shark is the largest predator that has ever existed on this planet. It was over three times the length of the biggest great white shark and roughly 20 times the weight. Yeah, the megalodon was so big that they even gobbled down whales for dinner. Talk about a big appetite. Scientists have researched the long extinct monster using its fossilized teeth, which are actually relatively common to find in certain areas of the world. The megalodon had five rows of razor-sharp teeth that could grow back within 48 hours, so they had a fresh set of fangs to devour their prey with. The giant megalodon probably went through thousands of teeth in its life, so it's not too surprising that there are so many fossils out there today. Their bite force was about 24,000 to 40,000 pounds per square inch, and their insanely powerful jaws could chomp a whale completely in half. Thankfully, this violent giant shark has been extinct for about 2.6 million years, although there are a select few believers that reckon the Meg still roams the ocean today. Yep, according to these folks, the Megalodon is elusive but still alive, and it's just waiting to make its move. We really, really hope that's not true. What about you guys? <laughs> Gigantosaurus Discovered back in 1995, at the height of Jurassic Park fever, the Gigantosaurus hit headlines when paleontologists revealed this ancient dinosaur was even bigger than the formidable Tyrannosaurus rex. It was also a little bit longer than T-Rex on the whole, so it had a certain size advantage. The nightmarish creature stood 47 feet tall and weighed a whopping 10 tons, making it much heftier than the famous T-Rex. Experts even speculated that it may have lived socially in packs, unlike the solitary T-Rex, making it much more deadly. The epic Gigantosaurus stood upright on two legs and could run at a rapid 31 miles per hour, roaming the plains of South America some 95 million years ago. We wonder if it'll make an appearance in the Jurassic World movie. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Dunkleosteus. This 360 million year old fish was the size of an elephant with an armor plated head, a streamlined torso, and two sharp fangs that could impale any prey. Yep, this ancient sea monster could reach up to 30 feet in length and was a fearless predator. The Dunkleosteus was one of the largest fish to ever have existed on this planet and had an incredible bite force of 8,000 per square inch. That's more powerful than a saltwater croc. And that's not the only dark secret lurking in this ancient creature's mouth. 
The Dunkleosteus could also sharpen its own fangs, keeping these killer blades sharper than a knife by opening and closing its jaws to create friction. If that wasn't already creepy enough, this prehistoric fish also had the ability to create an ominous vacuum inside its vast mouth, opening its jaws in just one fiftieth of a second to suck in any prey unlucky enough to be floating by. Fossils of the legendary Dunkleosteus have been found in Europe, Africa, and North America too, even reaching as far as Canada. So it looks like nowhere was safe from the dire Dunkleosteus. And then to close again around a prey item was 50 to 60 milliseconds. Helicoprian. Okay, if you thought that that giant fish was frightening, just wait until you catch a glimpse of the truly horrific Helicoprian. It might look like a deep monster straight out of a horror movie, but this strange sinister creature really existed in our ocean some 250 million years ago. Have you ever seen an animal that looks quite like this? We don't think so. Yep, the Helicoprian was extremely unique, even for the early Triassic period. It weighed up to 1,000 pounds, could reach 25 feet in length, and its entire lower jaw was a whirl of sharp teeth that looked like some kind of menacing chainsaw. Paleontologists think this coil was used to grind up the shells of mollusks, but some experts reckon its feeding habits were a lot more disturbing than we first thought. It's possible that the Helicoprian may have unfurled this coil like a whip and used it to lash out at any unlucky fish floating by. Either way, this is definitely not a fish you want to bump into in the dark ocean. It gives us the creeps just looking at it. Any fish armed with a weapon like this has to rank very highly on the list. Epicean. Nope, this nightmarish beast is not a werewolf, but we can see why you might think that. It's actually an epicean, one of the largest dogs to ever live on the planet. However, this prehistoric pooch was nothing like the pet dogs we keep today. A roaming carnivorous predator, this wild ancient animal lived approximately 5 to 15 million years ago from the middle to the late Miocene periods. It would have grown to be over 5 feet long and weigh up to 300 pounds. It would have looked more like a grizzly bear than any kind of dog we know today. In fact, the name Epicean translates to more than a dog. Just try and put a leash on this pup. We dare you. <laughs> Leviathan Melavali Named after the biblical sea monster Leviathan and Herman Melville, the author of the classic novel Moby Dick, this giant sperm whale was a real monster. In fact, it would have been the king of the sea and top of the food chain if it wasn't for the massive megalodon with a skull three times bigger than a modern day killer whale and a giant mouth full of enormous foot long teeth it's thought to have grown up to 60 feet long and devoured any sea creature that crossed its path, tearing away at their flesh with four inch wide fangs. In fact, there's good chance that the ancient sea monster possessed the biggest teeth ever found on any animal that ever existed. Fossils of it were found in Peru, giving paleontologists a good idea of the kind of nightmarish creatures that swam the oceans millions and millions of years ago. To this day, the deepest parts of our oceans are still full of mysteries, who knows what may be lurking deep beneath the water even today? <laughs> Megalania. This insane beast may have lived for millions of years, but in the grand scheme of things, it only died relatively recently. That's right, the Megalania, once the world's largest lizard, only became extinct roughly 40,000 years ago. In fact, they may have wandered the Australian outback alongside the earliest aboriginal settlers. Now that's kind of mind-blowing. The mighty Megalania grew a whopping 18 feet long and could have weighed up to 1,200 pounds. Its name translates to ancient great Romer and it had a giant skull full of serrated knife-like fangs. Classified in the Anguamorpha group, there's also the possibility that these lethal lizards may have also been venomous. If that's the case, then the Megalania would have been the largest poisonous vertebrate to ever exist on Earth. Wow. We can't believe that this creature actually walked the earth alongside human beings. And some conspiracy theorists still believe that the wild Megalania still roams amongst us. And several sightings have been reported, although none of those claims have ever been verified. Yikes. Some creatures are just left better extinct. Megalania is definitely extinct. Uh, it, it would be very unlikely that it's, it's alive today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Nothosaurus. Greek for false lizard, 
paleontologists reckon that this Triassic creature was probably more closely related to a seal. Hunting in the sea for fish over 200 million years ago, the Nothosaurus would have grown to be 10 feet long and weighed 200 pounds, with webbed feet, a long neck, and a tapered body. Just like seals, this ancient dinosaur would have spent some of its time on the land and slid into the water onto its belly to catch food. Experts also believe that it had the ability to twist its head around like a crocodile to grab hold of fish as they swam by. Okay, these prehistoric creatures definitely aren't as cute as the seals we know and love today, but let's face it, the ocean was a much stranger place 200 million years ago. Arthropleura. And now for our final nightmarish animal that we're glad is extinct. This creepy crawly scuttled on the marshy forest floors of North America over 300 million years ago, and it was the largest land-dwelling invertebrate ever. Yeah, we're talking about the Arthropleura, a giant ancient millipede that was over a foot wide and over seven feet long. Yeah, you heard that right, seven feet. We can't think of anything worse than a bug taller than a basketball player. With 30 segments and around 40 legs, this extinct animal would have resembled a modern-day millipede, only, of course, much, much larger. When the Earth was hotter and wetter, there was a higher concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere, leading to the supersized creatures that could grow to epic proportions. And what's even weirder is that the Arthropleura actually had no known predators, which is pretty odd for an insect. Experts still have more to learn about this mysterious millipede, and no complete fossil has ever been found. Yet this thing could have grown even bigger than we originally thought, and it may have been at the top of the food chain. But whatever they do discover, we're just glad that it's not around today to terrorize us all. Come on, even the little ones are super creepy. So, which one of these nightmarish animals are you glad is extinct? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content Thanks for watching and see you next time.